Good morning, all, and welcome to another Julian's Electronics Postbag. Oh, and a very happy vernal equinox to people who take notice of these things. Yes, we're in the summer half of the year. Sunny today as well. One of those sort of rare, fairly cloudless skies. Oh, there are clouds, but not that many. Right, let's have a look at what this first post bag item is. And it is microphones for my phone, the one that's actually recording this. And uh, yeah, they're wireless microphones, wireless. Show, live show, interview, vlog, short video. Why short video? Does that mean the batteries don't last very long? Okay, let's get this out. Um, not sure that these were terribly expensive, about $10, I think, which is remarkable. Because, Oh, come on, get open. I opened it and then I sort of closed it again. Why did I do that? Oh, these look quite cute. Um, there's a little display. I wonder what will come up on there. Uh, there's a USB-C charge port there. So these obviously have an internal lithium battery, but it's going to be a very tiny one because this is not big. I mean, it's one and a half centimetres wide by about, I don't know, six centimetres long. It's tiny. Now, there are two of these. I just wonder whether this means that it, the uh, audio will be stereo or will it just be two lots of mono blended, mixed, I suppose it is. There's even a display on there. What does all this stuff do? It's so exciting. Oh, they sent me the wrong one. That is a lightning connector. And I asked for USB-C. Oh, well, these are coming apart then. Oh, that's really annoying because these came all the way from China, I think. I mean, they didn't, it didn't take too long, a couple of weeks, but I can't even test this because that's not going to plug into my USB-C phone. These are USB-C. So why is that lightning? And it actually says on the side here uh, for iPhone, not for type C. So I've got to order a replacement set or send messages to the seller saying you sent the wrong one. So this is the item on AliExpress. And if you look at these four choices, you've got color green and it says type C. This one is color purple. And it doesn't really say anything. This one is color gray and it just says two in one. And this one is color orange for type C. Well, these colors are stupid and irrelevant. I can't believe these are colors at all. These are the different connector types. So I said, well, I want gray, obviously. And does that look like a lightning connector to you? I mean, maybe it does. So, yeah, I mean, I've ordered the, the wrong one. So we can take that one apart and I'll just have to order another one. But I mean, how ridiculously cheap is this? $8.72 for two microphones, both of which have internal storage. Now, I don't know whether it's um, lithium cells or whether it's a supercapacitor or something. It does hint that it's uh, not for long term use. So <laughs> I don't know. But that's really annoying because I'm going to have to now wait. Uh, to order another one. Uh, the seller is Factory Direct Collected Store. Um, well, I suppose we could try plugging some power into one of these mics and just seeing if something comes up on the display. If indeed that is a display, maybe it's just a light. Uh, let's get some 12 volts, uh, which is here. Plug it into this, which is USB. Plug that into there which should give me five volts and plug that into one of these microphones. Oh, tiny little red dot. Uh, I don't think this is a display actually. I don't know why they've covered it with that. If it's not a display. Anyway, that's charging. Um, I might leave that charging and we'll move on to the next item. Ah, uh, yes, this is a teeny tiny item. It's right in this corner here. So let's break it open and it is that. So this is a type C uh, USB to 2.1 millimeter plug adapter. And what's interesting about this is that there's, 
there's got to be a chip in here or some sort of signaling type thing because you plug this into your type C on the uh, end of a power bank and it tells the power bank, oh, I'm a device that accepts 12 volts. The power bank then ups its voltage to 12 volts and 12 volts comes out of the 2.1 millimeter plug. So there's no converter in here. It's just a signaler. Um, right, well, that's enough chat. Let's see if it works. Well, here's the perfect thing to try it on. This little, um, uh, this actually takes up to between seven and uh, 60 volts, I think. It's quite ridiculous. Um, okay, so here's a power bank, which I know has power delivery and will respond to the signaling uh, provided by this thing. So if I plug that in, this thing should go into power delivery and it has actually, I don't know whether you can see that, uh, the PD LED has lit up. In fact, if I take that off, oh yeah, that just goes off and there's no way I can actually get that on because it can see there's nothing at the end of the wire. Uh, how can I simulate that? Well, I can't really. Let's just connect this up, see if it um, charges or, or lights this thing up. Let's plug it in. Well, it certainly lights it up and we've got the little red light. It's very tiny that little red light on the microphone there. Um, next thing is, is that 12 volts? So let's get my DMM. Right, unplug that from there. Uh, pause is the center pin, isn't it? So shove that in there. Oh, let's turn the light on. Quite nice, these. They're very visible, but I don't know. They're strange DMMs. And the voltage is 12.1 volts. So yeah, this is just a little device that sits on the end of your USB, tells the power bank, I'd like 12 volts on this occasion. And you can buy these in different um, voltage uh, ratings. I don't know whether this says 12 volts on it. Yes, it does. It says 12 volt PD. I'll get a shot of that. And uh, I haven't got my headset on, so I have to shout because the microphones aren't very good. But yes, I didn't think to do this, did I? Plug that into there that still hasn't actually triggered the power bank to send anything but as soon as i plug this on there i'm actually using this rudeng backwards but i don't suppose it minds and yeah 12.17 volts nice uh it's embossed here where is it oh yeah there it is so there it is 12 volts PD. So, you know, you could probably get a 9 volt, a 15 volt, a 20 volt even, possibly. Now, I mean, this is only good for up to, well, this is a 60 watt power bank. So, theoretically, it could do the full 5 amps. I don't know whether you'd be able to pull the full 5 amps. I suppose I should test that at some point, but probably not on this power bank. Um, yeah, I could probably see it on this little watt meter. In fact, what's it pulling when I connect it to that? It's pulling, oh, well, <laughs> somewhere between zero and one watt. So yes, I mean, you'd only use it on low power, but it just provides a, it's, it's just another bench top power supply, isn't it? So this was the item and this one uh, was bought on eBay. So here it is, 12 volt adapter PD power delivery. That is type C female to DC male converter for router or fan yes or you could use it for charging your wireless microphone that's the wrong type um four pounds 59 this was that came from a uk seller because i wanted it in a reasonable hurry uh the seller was three day and night and the next item is this it says booster made in china 900 watt 15 amp cc CCCV. Oh, constant current, constant voltage. Yes, this is a DC to DC converter. Let's get my uh, blade, which is blunt to the point where it's not going to really harm me. But is it actually going to open the box? Yeah, seems to be doing all right. And the item is... Oh, come on. Yes, it's another one of these boost converters. Um, well, it looked, when I looked at the display there, 
it's hard to see, but there's a line right across the screen there. But I don't think it's a crack because if I peel that back, the screen looks intact. So let's power this up. Um, I'll need some connectors for there and some means of getting, I don't know, 12 volts into this thing. Um, well, I've been playing with these things quite a lot in recent days. So I made up this. It's a big spades to little spades thing. I think big spades will go on there. So let's put that on. Uh, positive is towards me. So that goes on like that. I was just thinking, actually, would it be a bit naughty to power this up using that 12 volt power delivery thing? <laughs> it would really, wouldn't it? Um, I mean, I, this is going to take quite a surge, isn't it? Because of this uh, input capacitor. And I don't know what happens if you overload power delivery. Um, something I could try, I suppose. Yeah, I'll use this. I'll use a, a D3806, um, which has a 2.1 mil jack there. That'll take my 12 volts, which is, is just not a very good supply. The batteries outside are a bit knackered. The wires coming in through the window go to a cigarette lighter and those plugs and sockets are never very convincing, are they? Um, okay, well look, I'll, I'll connect that to there and then I'll power this thing up. Right, just check this. Uh, pause, out, neg, out. Pause in, neg, in. So that looks okay. Let's plug this in. I don't think it's set to come on automatically. Um, 24 volts. Is that okay? That should be okay. This might squeal a bit, but uh, okay, let's turn that on. Ah, yes. Now, in the listings for this thing, um, almost all of them just don't have a picture of what comes up on the display. There are one or two listings for this where there's an extremely grainy image of this display and I just it, it does actually look like this the font is absolutely horrible isn't it um, but now I can see actually what's written on there well I'll put my glasses on got a problem you see I'm wearing headphones because that's the only way that I could get a microphone uh, in a sort of consistent place and then when I try, try to put my glasses on um, it's very difficult to put glasses on when you're wearing headphones that's why I want that wireless microphone. Doesn't doesn't actually need to be wireless, but I just wanted a microphone that will connect to this phone. Anyway, that's all irrelevant. Let's get down and have a closer look at this display. Actually, I'm going to peel this off because it looks to me like that's a, a line of a felt tip or something, and there's some stuff covering the display a bit there. So let's peel that off because that's going to look a little bit better. So what do we have on here? We have the status, whether or not this thing is boosting. Now you've got to be careful with these boost converters because off doesn't mean off. I've got 24 volts coming in, so there will be 24 volts on the output there. I'm going to drop that down a bit actually. Oh, that's interesting. In 24 volts. That's very interesting. I've never seen that on one of these. Um, there's only one of my DC to DC converters where it actually tells you the input voltage. And I think it was that little finercy thing which had a similar display to this. But the point is with a nice display like this, as opposed to seven segments where you can't see barely anything, got to be careful not to short everything out. Um, you just get to see so much more stuff. So 23.9 uh, volts is the output voltage. 24 is the input voltage. Um, amps, watts, the status is constant voltage because it's not current limiting on the output. The output, well, not the output is off, but the boosting function is off. So it's acting just as a pass through from the input to the output. Um, and the set points are 20 volts, three amps. That's just really nice. It's just nice to have all that data in front of you at one time. Well, just quickly then, because I don't really want to spoil this, I'll probably do a video on this. Um, the OK button, Yes, yeah, so I just pressed that top button actually, and that seemed to change the data set. Uh, 9876543210. Eight, OK, that. Now, if I press OK, it should turn on the boosting function. So the output is now being boosted up to, well, 20 volts. It's actually less than the uh, input voltage, so it's not going to be doing any boosting. Um, I really want to load, don't I? What if I, how do I turn this off? Do I press OK again? Yes, you do. Right, I'm just going to wind uh, this down. So I think I'll do it as, as actually as a setting. So that's off. 
Uh, let's wind this down to 12 volts. And then I can use the booster to boost up to 24 volts. Um, oh, that'll do. 11.77, one amp current limit. So that powers this up. Uh, you get that nice indication. This font really is awful, isn't it? But uh, input voltage 11.8, boost up to 20. I'll just get a little bulb to put on there. Now this will light up even though this says off because it doesn't mean that the output is off. It means that the boost function is off. So this will... Oh, who tightened these up? It's ridiculous. <coughs> Really tight. Uh, okay, so let's put that in there. That will power up. It's two um, 12 volt fruit machine bulbs in series, so they will take 20 volts. Okay, we can see from the display that the set point is. That's really terrible because there's really not much gap between the actual characters and the border lines. But anyway, let's turn on the boost function and up it goes to 20 volts or 19.9, we've got a bit of current there, we've got a bit of watts, um, 1.7 watts, and you can see that it's still in constant voltage because we're not triggering any sort of current limit. Right, I'm going to leave that there because this is a post bag video, not a video about this rather nice um, boost converter. So here's the item. Um, it's another eBay item. Let's just bring that down a bit. So here you can see the photograph, and if I go through all the photographs, or just hover over them, they all have the display blank. I've got a feeling one of these, I think I have to scroll down. Where is it? Oh yes, there. Now can you see that really, oh hang on, I'll have to click on that. Oh, it's gone through full screen. But I mean, look at that really grainy image. It is actually, oh I've switched it off now, but it's very similar to what we're seeing on the actual unit. I have to go back now, won't I? Um, but anyway, um, I wasn't really sure what I was getting. And in fact, I'm pleasantly surprised. Uh, it's very nice to see the input voltage um, indicated on the display. Yeah, it's just, a, it's, a, it's just a nicer unit, isn't it? So this is 900 watts, uh, a, a very specific circumstances to get 900 watts. And you're very unlikely to get it anyway, so derate that. Um, 15 amps, you're unlikely to get that either. Step up converter boost, eight to 60 on the input, 10 to 120 on the output. And I have used that high voltage um, to power up little 12 and five volt power supplies because they can be run on DC. Uh, boost converter CC CV, it has got uh, constant current. Now, of course the constant current won't work um, if the, boosting function is switched off. It can only bring the voltage down in order to maintain current um, if it's doing boosting. So if, if that voltage is under its control, it has no control over the pass through. But anyway, we can come to that more when I do the video on this unit. Um, this came from Home Time Fun 30. I uh, just thought I'd show you briefly the previous incarnation of this thing. Uh, you can generally search for this thing, uh, just say 900W boost, 900 watt boost, and this thing will come up. Um, so yeah, this also was LCD, but it had that sort of cut down LCD. Didn't really show you much on here. Don't think it even shows the input voltage. And then, of course, there was a, a previous version which had uh, an LED display and the four buttons a bit like that. That one's out in the shed and it's all wired into stuff and yeah, I can't really uh, bring that here, but uh, yeah, latest incarnation. Right, let's do one more. And this is the big one really, uh, quite expensive. It was about $50, uh, you'll see why in a moment. Well, I don't know, will you see why? I don't really think, uh, judging by the prices of some of the other stuff I've had today, how this is justified, but um, yeah, they don't sell in large quantities. And it's that. Is that it? Is there nothing else in here? No, that is it. Uh, I'll just put this nut and washers back on. Um, yeah, so what this is, is a type two outlet um, for electric vehicle charging 
Uh, I'll take this apart actually if I can. How high does that come up? Fairly high. So this is for uh, what they call untethered which means that this is on the actual charge unit, what they call an EVSE, electric vehicle supply equipment. And then you use a cable with a plug at this end and another plug at the other end. One's a socket, one's a plug. And then that goes into the car. Now, the reason I wanted this is because this project, my homebrew EVSE, electric vehicle charger, has become impossibly unwieldy. If I let that go, it will slide forward and fall off the table. And that's because it's got these two fixed cables. So what I was thinking, this is mains in and at the other end of that cable is this thumping great connector. I could replace this with um, an IEC mains connector, you know, kettle lead style. And then mounted on this piece of wood or possibly a slightly bigger piece of wood, I will have this as my output and then I can connect my type 2 uh, cable that came with the car to here and then plug it into the car at the other end and still use this thing but it has just become impossibly unwieldy uh, this project I can't actually keep it on the desk while I'm working on it so I want it to be more standalone by having a connector at each end instead of these really thick really heavy cables so I have a little look at this. Um, I think this is only going to come apart actually if I take all these uh, nuts off, which I'll do off camera. And now that bit comes off there. So yeah, lots of gaskets which you'd put uh, into whatever casing you were using. And then this is the sort of uh, rain cover to try and keep all these connectors dry. And this one was unusual. Oh. <laughs> I think I've not quite got what I thought I was going to get. Um, most of these require that the cables are crimped in, but the imagery on the sales page for this showed um, screw terminals. I'll take these screws out actually, because I'm quite interested to see whether I've actually got what I thought I was going to get. You see, some of these are available with half a meter of cables already crimped in. And if these are crimp terminals, then I'd rather have the crimping done for me because I don't have a crimp tool and you can buy a crimp tool, but it's about $20. Um, but I just wanted to avoid that whole scenario. And certainly it looks to me like these are crimp terminals and not the terminals with a little screw. To be quite honest, I wasn't sure how this could be terminals with a little screw because I couldn't quite see how it would work but certainly the photography oh uh, oh okay these are coming out yeah these are crimp I mean you can solder these ones because uh, they're just signal um, connectors but these are the high current connectors where your mains live uh, neutral and earth uh, transfer fairly high current mains to the car and these are crimp not solder which they appeared to be in the listing um let's ha let's look at the listing now actually for this so this is the item on aliexpress it's from the we like elv store in case you wanted to know and it says sorry this item is no longer available and indeed if you look through these images i think it's that one no it's this one actually you can see all the components here laid out and these very clearly have little screws um in these connectors and this whole housing looks entirely different so what i got is not what and this also has multiple of these locking these lock attachment points one on the side there one on the top one on the other side and the unit i've received has only got one i mean i don't think it matters particularly but anyway um i can't even show you the price of this because it's no longer available I'll have a look at what I paid for that. Now I'm just taking off this port cover here um, because this is where you attach a little servo motor type thing which drives the locking mechanism which should put little locking pins in on the four sides to hold in 
the cable because the idea is it's locked at both ends so no one can run off with your cable but I can't see any locking mechanism in here and I have a funny feeling yes there's absolutely nothing under there so this is well it will work and I can use it temporarily but it's not exactly what I was expecting in some ways it's a bit of a swizz because it's not got screw terminals it's not got any type of locking mechanism that is just a complete dummy port there yes <laughs> interesting fifty dollars i tell you what i always thought ebay was a bit wild west aliexpress i think is even more so well actually it's not quite what i was saying because um i'll just use one of these if i put that in there you can actually see it run into the unit and i know that these little servo motors have a pin which um, is driven out by a motor and driven back in so yes it would drive into there and lock the cable in but i thought that it had some sort of complicated mechanism where four pins all drove in together but maybe i was kind of overthinking this yeah i mean that would work as a lock it's just a bit more primitive than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be much more sophisticated. Yeah, $50 for this is, is a lot. But then again, anything to do with electric cars, it's a pretty niche um, topic at the moment. It'll become more mainstream in a few years, of course. Um, yeah, you do get um, charged an awful lot because this stuff sells in very uh, small quantities. So anyway, I'll put this back together and then I'll do my assemblage shot yes i probably should have gone for the um the connector with half a meter of cable pre-crimped onto it because they obviously understand the issue you know i don't have a crimper i could buy a crimper one of these big hydraulic crimpers but i don't particularly uh, want to do that because uh, i'm very short of space and it'll only end up out in the shed where it'll go rusty because believe me the shed is a very harsh environment for half the year <laughs> I'll do a shed update uh, in a video soon but um, yeah I mean yeah this this has got some weight to it it's made of the proper material it's all thermoplastic it's not a bad unit it's just not what the pictures uh, hinted it was going to be okay assemblage shot I just want to see what happens to this microphone if you press and hold the button yeah you get an alternate red and green flashing light so this is probably saying i'm trying to find the oh it's gone is it still red and green yeah it's still red and green it's probably saying i'm trying to find the um the unit that plugs into the phone and it's never going to find that is it but yeah i wonder if that's got capacitor or battery in it that'd be interesting to tear down right i shall continue assembling and so these are today's postbag items. Uh, big thanks, as always, to my sponsor, JLC PCB. Also, huge thanks to my uh, Patreon patrons who've stuck with me for years now. I don't thank you enough. I really should thank you more. Um, what else do I say in these assemblage shots? Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, watch these videos. I'll put some pictures somewhere. And press that and subscribe. And, oh. Do not forget, hit the like button. Cheerio.